for today's medication, I'm going to be giving the drug um, So I'm going to look at the patients. I'm going to make sure that the um, drug is transcribed, tra transcribed correctly from the person's order sheet to the MAR, uh, which it is. Um, so we've done that check. Uh, I want to know the patient's diagnosis. They're diagnosed, they came in for community acquired pneumonia, so we're trying a bacterial infection for that, which is why we're getting the antibiotic. Um, so the patient also has no known drug allergies, which I can see from the MAR. I'm going to perform hand hygiene and then select my vials and fix this. So I have cefotaxime, a one gram vial, and normal uh, um, sterile water for reconstitution. So the vials are expired and they are intact. Um, so part of my first check here, I have right patient Andre Olivares, right drug is cefotaxime, cefotaxime, um, right dose is 750 milligrams of a one gram vial, right root is IV, uh, for IV. Uh, time and frequency is every four hours. It hasn't been given yet, so I can give it now. Um, okay, so looking at the parental drug monograph for cefotaxime, it is an antibiotic, so that's why we're taking it for the bacterial infection. It can be administered by a student nurse. The usual dose is one to two grams IV every four to eight hours. Maximum single dose is two grams. Maximum daily dose is 12 grams. Uh, reconstitute one gram, and per reconstitution, one gram with 9.6 milliliters of sterile water for injection. Uh, final volume of 10, final concentration of 100 milligrams per milliliter. Um, so we will do that. And for IV intermittent, diluting 25 to 100 milliliters normal saline. Um, I'm going to start over 30 to 15 to 30 minutes. I've chosen a 100 milliliter bag of normal saline because um, they have no fluid restrictions. And I'm going to give it over 30 minutes to allow myself time in case anything happened. Uh, it's compatible with normal saline. I checked beforehand. That's the primary I have running now. It's running at the correct rate and it's not expired. Um, so that's good. It's also compatible with our mini bag. Potential hazards would be chronic dyspnea, rash, diarrhea, vomiting, hypersensitive reactions. So we'll watch for all of those. Um, so now, um, and again, before I would have um, picked these up, I would have done hand hygiene. So I'm going to do hand hygiene again. Um, so I'm going to now start preparing. So I'm going to swab these for 30 seconds, let dry for 15. I'm just speeding up for the purpose of this video. So for 30 seconds, let dry for 15. So that's when I'm going to look back at the reconstitution. I had to add 9.6 milliliters of sterile water for the injection. Um, so I'm getting my 10 milliliter syringe. Okay, so now I'm pulling back the 9.6 line. And now that these are dry, I'm going to inject air. So I need to pull back to the 9.6 and I want no bubbles because I want to make sure I'm doing the reconstitution right so they're actually getting those. Okay, so now that that is good, I'm going to inject that right into the cefotaxime vial. Relieving air pressure. Okay. So now I'm um, rolling this to make sure that it's dissolved, that no, all the medications mixed, um, which it is. Um, so for the calculations, if I had, after rec um, reconstitution, and I had a final concentration of 100 milligrams per milliliter, I need to draw up 7.5 milliliters of the um, the medication to get that dose because I need 750 milligram dose so I'm drawing up 7.5 milliliters um, so I'm going to put that to the 7.5 line in between the um, four and the six and then swabbing this for or swabbing this for 30 and letting dry for 15 just in case perfect okay so now I'm going to Recap that. There you go. And then, um, so I'm just going to do my second med check here. So I'm looking at the parental drug monograph. So we have cefotaxime. I just want to make sure we did the reconstitution right. I added 9.6 milliliters of sterile water for a final concentration of 100 milligrams per milliliter. If I needed a 750 milligram dose, I should have drawn up 7.5 milliliters. So I'm going to look, which I did. And again, we had cefotaxime. For the MAR here, I have right patient Andre Olivares, right drug cefotaxime. Um, right to dose of 750 milligrams, which we drew up 7.5 milliliters. Right root is IV, right time and frequency is every four hours. It has not been given yet, so it is safe to give now. Okay, so, and then we'd also want to make sure that